Hello, friends. Uh, it's really late tonight. Uh, it's been a long, long, long day. Um, so I stopped by the hospital tonight to, to check on Jamie, and she is having another fantastic day. Um, she spent literally the entire day off of the ventilator. Um, I went in, and her uh, uh, the tree that they hang all of the bags and everything on, all of that was gone. Um, they literally just had her, her feeding solution and... IV hanging there, all the medication, all the other stuff was gone. It was a real generic tree versus the, the real intricate one that they, uh, that they've had there. Um, and, uh, she was awake and, and she was very talkative. They said today that they put on a, uh, a, a special, uh, what did they call it? Uh, a, a cap of some sort, a valve, uh, for her trach that, um, she can turn it and talk. Uh, so they practiced that a little bit today. Um, and uh, she's pretty excited about that. Uh, we spent about three hours together tonight, just talking and, and like just spending time together. Um, it was really nice. It was a huge blessing for me. Um, mostly because tonight's her last night in ICU. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, after 27 days in ICU, Jamie has been discharged from Mercy West Hospital. And she is now, uh, it is currently uh, 10 minutes till 8. So in an hour and 10 minutes, uh, her fancy ride will be there to pick her up. Uh, and they're going to transfer, transport her to uh, Bethesda North, uh, Service Select at Bethesda North. And her rehabilitation is going to begin. So praise God that today when I asked for prayer um, about the insurance, it came through. Like I came back from lunch. And I got a phone call. Um, it's it just cool the way God works. Like I put that out while I was sitting in my car and I come back in from lunch and, and my phone's ringing off the hook for about an hour, just back and forth with the social worker and the case worker and select service. Um, and everything's set up, everything's set up. She's, she's literally just unplugged from everything and laying there in the bed, just awaiting her carriage. Um, so again, we just thank you guys so much for your continued prayers. Um, Basically, they told her, uh, told me that they'll call me on Monday or Tuesday. Um, she will have met with, um, I can't remember the exact uh, terminology, but basically a care team where they'll sit down with her. They'll come up with goals and um, uh, care, uh, a care program that that fits her needs. Um, they'll communicate that to me, and at that point, it's go. It's uh, it's her. Uh, putting in the work and and checking off the boxes and uh and i i feel like we've we've crested this man like we are it's all it's all uh it's all smooth sailing from here at least on our end um you know I, i'm just so excited i don't know what to say outside of that i'm just absolutely ecstatic um it's tears of joy just on the way home tonight um it, it was sad to leave her. It always is, but man, just pure excitement. Um, knowing that, that not many people can say that they stayed in the ICU for 27 days and, and got to leave alive. Um, but God's bigger than 20%. And, uh, apparently Jamie falls inside of that, that less than 20% mark. So, um, again, praise God, praise God, praise God, because he, he made it happen. Uh, we stood strong. We held together. We uh, we fought by praying and and giving the fight to God. And he he fought the battle, and uh, she's she's doing great. And we're just so excited to see um, the progress she makes once she gets there. I've heard very very good things about this facility. Um, we're just <laughs> I keep saying excited because that's what we are. We're just super excited for her. Um, and we know that it's now really legitimately a matter of time before she's home. Uh, again, thank you all. God bless and uh, just have a fantastic weekend. Love you guys.